we just removed the uh, casting from the mould there and we've got to remove this sprue or this, this flash that we've got at the top there, okay? Now, I could just put it straight into the vise here, but you can see the vise is made of a very hard steel, okay, like tall steel or something, and pewter is quite a soft material. So if I put it straight in there, there's a risk I could scratch my material. So what I'm going to do is get a slightly softer material, the MDF here, and I'm just going to line this up on here so that when I put it into the vise to cut it off, it won't damage my pewter casting. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this in like this. If you'd like to come around this side, you can see the... Uh, the, the, the sprue is just sticking out the edge over here, okay? So just like before, I'm going to use the hacksaw this time to cut the metal. Hacksaw is a better tool for cutting harder materials like this. As you can see, it's got much smaller teeth, so it will cut a lot easier. I can do the same sort of setup, so I'm going to just do a little mark like this to make sure it doesn't move around, and then proceed using the full length of the blade. This time I'm cutting on the forward stroke, as you can see, and just drawing the blade back. Now you'll notice when I'm cutting using the hacksaw, I'm pointing my finger like this. This is keeping the saw straight. And if you find that you're having trouble keeping the saw uh, level with this sense, you can hold the front of the hacksaw as well. I don't want to put any more pressure, but it just ensures that I keep it uh, level. Now when I get close to the end, I'll just support the last bit of pewter so it doesn't drop on the fuel. And just take that through like that, okay? So I've cut quite close. Uh, to where I wanted to work to, but I've not cut exactly to the line because what I'm going to do is use the file to cross file this. So I'm going to just talk about the cross filing next. Now, again, it'd be great if the jaws of this vise were made of nylon or they had these little wood, wood parts already fixed in, but we're going to just try and set this up carefully inside here. Okay, it's sometimes a little bit awkward to get this in line, so I'm just going to carefully line these two parts up. And again, I'm doing the same trick as I've done before with the mould. And what I'm going to try and do is just line up the top parts of the casting with the MDF like this. And then I'm going to use the MDF as a bit of a guide for when I'm filing. Okay. So what I've done is I've lined up the edge of the MDF there with where I want to sort of file down to. Okay. I've got it quite accurate there. I'm not exactly on point, but I could spend a bit more time doing this. So again, I'm cross-filing, so I'm going to hold the file at the front and the back. And then just use a forward stroke like this. And if I've got a good new file, you can see this is taking off the material quite quickly and that oxidation is going as well. So you can see you can see that nice shiny pewter underneath as it's taking away the oxidised material from underneath. So I'll keep going like this until I get a straight surface. I've not quite lined this up, so as you can see when I get down to the MDF I've still got a millimetre or so to go, so I'll probably just move this up and then do it a little bit by eye, okay? But it is worth the time and effort to actually get this lined up accurately. So I'm going to have to take this out a little bit and just move it up, just advance it up in the mould, just a fraction like this. And again, this is where it's helpful, as I say, to really spend a bit of time in your setup to make sure that it comes out really well. Okay, the other thing I'm being mindful of when I'm filing, I'm trying to keep this file edge parallel to the top of the, the, the mould there. Okay, again, I'll keep filing like this just to the point, as you can see I'm nearly there now, I've got one tiny little bit to, to complete there, just to the point where I get it completely flat like this, okay? So this is my cross fold surface, as you can see, the pattern that's appearing on the top of the pewter there is all going in that direction. Now what I want to do is the next filing stage called draw filing, is to draw out these scratches, okay? And I hold the file in a different way and use a different motion. So I'm going to hold the file with two hands. I like to hold it at a slight angle, you can hold it straight if you want, but I like it at a slight angle like this. And then very lightly, almost just using the strength of my fingers or the weight of the file, I'm going across the work in the other direction. So this is called draw filing, okay? Now if we look at the top of the work, you can see those scratches are now going in this direction. They're very, very fine. So I'm just going to keep going until I get a very consistent pattern on the top of my product. So I'll just keep going like this, and I'm looking for this pattern to be completely consistent, okay? Now, I could, if I was very skilled at draw filing and I had a range of different grades of files, I could almost use filing to get to a point where this was very, very smooth. And in fact, that now, that finish I've got there is pretty good, okay? So I'm going to use some wet and dry paper as my next stage. Um, but effectively, that is a very good finish.